Hey guys, it's your girl April coming at you with another video. Don't mind the smoke. That is my herbal infused oils that is fresh off the um, fresh off the stove right now. I got that in the pot, letting it cool down. But this is going to be a how-to video. So I'm going to show you guys how to make your own cold process facial body soap. And this is going to be another carrot soap, but this carrot soap is a little different because like I said, I have herbal infused oils with this one. However, you can just use olive oil instead of an herbal infused oil. I just chose the herbal infused oil because I already had uh, these oils infusing for some time. And I decided to use that as well as just some regular olive oil in the mix. So the measurements for this, I'm gonna get that out the way now while it's fresh on the brain. You're gonna need 4.29 ounces of your lye. And then you're gonna need 12.65 ounces of water. Keep in mind, you're going to incorporate carrots. So what I did was I boiled my carrots on the stove. I then took my handy dandy hand blender and I blended everything. So if you do not use enough water, or of course your water is gonna cook down while you're boiling your carrots, just add some water to it. So you need 12.65 ounces of water. And you're going to, of course, mix that water and you're gonna mix that lye and place it into a, um, a you're gonna mix it and you're gonna have your solution. So, uh, I'm just like, I have like a brain fart right now. <laughs> it's been a very long week. This is actually one of my first days off. I've been working I've been working 13 days straight um, for 12 hours every day. So I'm just like tired, but I said, you know what? I gotta do this video and I needed to make some soap anyway. So it was a great time to record. And being as though it's my only day off, I said, let me get this out the way. So excuse me for that. The other thing is you wanna need one ounce of whatever fragrance you choose. And I'm using one ounce just because you don't wanna go over the top. This is for your face and for your body. So if you're going to sell this soap, if you're going to give it as a gift, keep it in mind that everybody's skin has different sensitivity levels. So what you don't wanna do is have fragrance as if though this is just strictly a body soap and then they use it on their face and they're just like, ah, it burns. So that's not what we wanna do. Now in my soap, I'm using a mixture of different essential oils. I mixed up two ounces however one ounce is going to go into a yogurt soap and i'm going to show you guys how to make a yogurt soap in a separate video so for now what we're going to do is we are going to mix our lye <coughs> with our oils and when you mix your lye with your oils you want to make sure that your lye is cool down Mine still has some smoke going on, so I'm gonna let everything cool. I'm gonna let it get clear because right now it's almost there, but it's not quite. So the other thing, butters. Aside from using this oil, I am also using 3.3 ounces of cocoa butter. So if you don't have cocoa butter, you can swap that out for shea butter, or you can do your mixture without the butter, but keep in mind, you're gonna to have to recalculate because my calculation has the 3.3, and Charles just hit the camera. My uh, calculation has the 3.3 ounces of the cocoa butter. So I'm gonna let everything cool, and then I'm gonna come back so we can get the mixing and all that good stuff. And also, cause I don't wanna burn my rice that's on the stove right now. All right, and we're back and I didn't burn my rice. so. I am going to take my oils and I wanted to show you guys the oils here. So as you can see, I have all my herbs just floating around in here. There's a variety of different herbs in here. Um, I just think that adding things from the earth really, wow. Okay, so she's having a fit right now. Again, 
Um, I think that adding things from the earth is very beneficial to your skin. And it's whatever you put in your body is what you're going to get out of it. So I'm not going to ramble on about that, but I, I really enjoy doing the herbs here. And this glass is actually really hot. And I'm just adding more olive oil. Nothing fancy. And that's just to make up the difference. All right. So don't forget to make sure you have some saran wrap ready. So when you put your soap inside of your soap mold, you can cover it up and also have your towel on deck so that you can wrap your soap mold with the soap inside. Um, I don't even know why I felt like I needed to spell that out, but anywho, make sure you wrap your soap mold, cover it up with the towel. We have our plastic wrap, nothing fancy. You could just do some simple saran wrap. So next I'm gonna take my hand blender and blend. Okay, so I'm checking the tracing and it's not a lot of trace right now, which is great because once you in, once you add your fragrance, you want to make sure that you are ready with your molds on deck and that you have your saran wrap on deck as well. You don't want your, you don't want your soap to cease. So when it ceases, it gets all clumpy and nasty and then it's just like, mm, I'm going to have to make it a hot process soap now instead of a cold process. So I'm lining my soap molds up at the moment, just so I can be ready to pour momentarily. So I'm gonna pour in about an ounce. We're good. to be ready to pour into the soap mold. And place it over top take my towel my working towel that you guys are already familiar with and we're going to just cover it up I'm going to let this set for about 24 hours and then I'll unwrap it and I'll let it sit for about two days and then I'll come back and show you guys how it looks once it's ready to be cut olive oil takes a little longer 
to get ready to be cut, so to speak. So I'll let it sit for about three days and then I'll start to slice it. Cause if you don't and it's too soft, then your soap will just start to be kind of, it's not gonna be mushy, but it's not gonna be hard. And you'll be like, mm, I probably should have waited before I cut this. So I'd rather let it sit for about three days and then cut it and show you guys what the final look is for this soap. All right, so it has been three days and our soap is hard enough, not extremely hard, but it's hard enough to get it off the soap mold. Okay, so I'm gonna lay the soap on this side. I had spread out my saran wrap. So now I'm going to start to slice. And I do have a cutter. However, I just prefer to just hand cut it freely because I can cut the bars bigger than the actual soap cutter. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there in the soap mold. And this is my little raw bar of herbal olive oil carrot soap. Okay, so when cutting your soaps, you want to make sure that you're using a light hand to cut your soaps and that you're not just ah uh, with the with the soap cutter because the olive oil is still slightly soft. It's not hard like your uh coconut oil soaps would be. So it you have enough room to slice it and let it sit, but you don't have enough room in cutting to just let to just kind of be willy-nilly with this olive oil is very tender and it takes a while for it to actually harden up so what you want to do is just keep that in mind when you are slicing your bars of soap the other thing is that because olive oil by itself takes a, a little while to cure you can use it within six weeks However, you may want to let it sit out a little longer just to let it let the bar get hard, like super hard, like the uh, coconut oil soaps. You, If you want it a hard bar like that, then you may want to wait about eight weeks, 10 weeks. But after six weeks, you can use it. Six weeks, it's not going to be as soft as it is right now, but you will st you will still have a little bit of softness compared to a coconut oil bar or a palm oil bar um that's pretty much it though i mean it i think that this is a, a really um a really easy olive oil soap to make i hope that i was informative enough in a video for you guys as far as what i did what i used and how much of what i used but of course if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and I will get back to you. The other thing that you can do that I didn't do with this particular olive oil soap that I am gonna do in another video is you can use sodium lactate. Um, sodium lactate, you can mix that in with your olive oil soap while you're blending. That is actually going to, that will also help your bars harden up a lot quicker than waiting an extensive time. But if you wanna just keep it really simple, then you don't have to use the sodium lactate. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Thank you for watching the video. I have been away for some time and I will talk about that in a whole nother video that's coming at you soon. 
I am tired. I'm just pretty much getting home from work and it's 7.30 at night and I have to turn around, get up and do another long day tomorrow. So I'll see you guys. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope that you guys are okay. There's a lot going on in the world. Um, I send so much love out to you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. So I had lots of fun making these little cute things. Oh, these masks are so cute. I made these for my two little cousins and my two older cousins because they want to do a family photo. And with everything that's going on with this COVID-19, unfortunately, they have to have, you know, mask on taking these photos but these masks are going to match the shirts they have little rainbow shirts so they're all going to have their matching mask and shirts on in their family photo and I'm, I was really happy to make these I really was I'm glad that my cousin reached out to me to make these for her and I just wanted to show you guys these cute little handmade masks